Well, welcome to the post show debrief. What do you think of my sweater? Pretty cool, huh? I'm used to that tie and coat thing. Nah, I'm, I'm all about a sweater today. Besides that, they're freezing me in that, in that, in that studio. It's great to have you with us for the post show debrief. Uh, it was great to talk today with my uh, good friend uh, Ed Rollins, Republican strategist, uh, and to talk about the advent of Republican control of Congress uh, this week in Washington, D.C. It, it's uh, it, it's going to be a new era. It's going to be interesting to see how Speaker John Boehner handles uh, his responsibilities and exerts his leadership over the, the House and uh, what the result will be uh, in public policies through the, the rest of 2011. It's, a, it's an exciting time, I believe, in America, and I think the results will be profound. Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, I, I think we also have to focus on is just how out of control this government has been. And today we receive word that I think in, in one statement sums up just how desperate the problems are when it comes to fiscal uh, policy, as if we needed any more ev evidence. Uh, but the Treasury Department reported that the national debt has risen to now more than $14 trillion and that the Obama administration managed to add a trillion dollars, a trillion dollars to the national debt in seven months. Uh, and now there's a contest between the Republicans, or at least some of the Republicans and some of the Democrats, but particularly the Obama administration, over whether the national debt ceiling should be raised. Austin Goolsby, the, uh, the president's economist, saying it would be catastrophic uh, were they not to raise the debt ceiling. And some, uh, some Republicans, uh, principally uh, led principally by Senator Jim DeMint, saying it will be catastrophic if they do. Uh, we are truly at a crossroads in which we're going to have to make a decision as a people, as a government, as a nation, as to whether or not we're going to rein in federal spending and constrain both the growth uh, and scale and scope of government in our lives. That will be the fundamental decision of 2011. Let's hope it's a very happy new year for everyone. Thanks for being with me. We appreciate you being here for the post-show debrief. I will see you next on the radio.